What's up everyone? Thanks so much for stopping by to check out today's video. I've gotten to be really good about not hitting my mic because that's my number one issue. You guys don't understand how much footage has cluttered the floor here when I edit out me going boom when I hit the mic because I'm so emphatic with my hands. So I'm giving myself a kind of a pat on the back there because I haven't done that in a while, knock on wood or for Micah. I'm really happy that you chose to stop by today. Take a few minutes to hang out with me to get some really cool information about men's fragrance because today we're talking about some upcoming new releases. Besides talking about some upcoming new releases, I also have a brand new bottle of Azaro Solarissimo Favignana to give away. I'm gonna be making that announcement today. Got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Take a deep breath, relax. Today we're talking about some new releases that are coming up to be excited about. Now, I don't know about you, but I think presentation is a big part of what draws me to a particular fragrance. Take for example, the Bulgari Man line. That's just a really cool bottle. Now this is Ture Essence, one of their most recent releases in the Bulgari Man line. I think the most recent release. It's a great presentation, looks fantastic, happens to be my scent of the day. Really enjoy this one. Uh, the reason I'm talking about Ture Essence is because Bulgari Man is releasing a new fragrance in the Bulgari Man line. Remember on Nickelodeon, the avatar? Fire, water, earth, air. That's kind of sort of what's going on with the Bulgari Man IP. Starting off the phenomenon that has become Bulgari Man, Alberto Maria created Bulgari Man in Black, the amazing spicy cold weather fragrance that has similarities to Spice Bomb, but is its own amazing, very refined tobacco-oriented fragrance, tobacco and vanilla. Then there was Bulgari Man Wood Essence, which is a kind of a sweet, spicy, aromatic, woody fragrance. Really enjoyed that one. Then for a great summertime pick, you can also wear it in wintertime, along came Glacial Essence, kind of like the tip of the iceberg in a bottle. A very fresh blue addition to the Bulgari Man line. And then representing the Earth Avatar is Ture Essence. The newest addition in the line is actually going to be called Rain Essence. Continuing its immersive journey to uncover the deepest connection between man and the natural world, Bulgari explores the regenerative energy of water, captured in the transformative power of rain. Like that magical moment when the last raindrop falls and everything looks different, Bulgari Man Rain Essence is an invitation to experience the force of this natural phenomenon through a fresh, invigorating mineral signature. Focusing on the universal and multi-sensory experience that rain represents across different cultures and seasons, Bulgari offers its very own interpretation of the element of water, one that uncovers all its transformative, regenerative, and lively essence. Inspired by the rain's revitalizing force, men naturally feel in their element ready to embrace change and be an active part of it. So its classification is that of a fresh woody musk signature. So the top's gonna feature green tea essence and orange essence. The heart's gonna feature white lotus. There's gonna be crystal musks accord uh, with a base of mineral wood, mineral amber, and guaiac wood essence. So kind of similar to all of the essence like wood, terrain, glacial, Rain Essence is going to be a lighter fragrance that's going to attempt to allow you to re-experience the revitalizing and re-energizing effect of, you know, a torrential rainfall. I don't know about you, but I love rain. In fact, my wife and I listen to the rain at night. We actually use our Google Home. We say, hey, Google, play rain sounds. And, uh-oh, it's going to do that right now. Probably. <laughs> I'll tell it to stop. Play rain sounds, but it's going to do that on YouTube. Okay. Hey Google, stop. Sorry about that. Anyway, that's what we say every night before bed and the sound of rain is so soothing. It's just white noise, basically. You could also think of it as frying bacon, but I don't want to picture that because it's hard to unhear that when you picture that in your mind. So for those of you that have enjoyed the Bulgari Man thus far, looking forward to Rain Essence being added to the lineup. Hopefully it's gonna be a really unique, fresh blue fragrance that we can add to our rotation. While it seems like a lot of houses or brands are kind of resting on their laurels and not producing any new fragrances or any new ideas, Carolina Herrera has definitely been hard at work. 
they are releasing a new 212 VIP fragrance, which is a great lineup of fragrances. This one is a gourmand fragrance, and I'm so happy that they're going in the direction of gourmand. It's actually called 212 VIP I Love New York. And it makes sense. When you think about New York, you think about the hustle and bustle of a lively city because it's a huge city. So you think about energy and what gets people going every morning. How many people in New York drink coffee? All of them, right? So it's a coffee-based gourmand fragrance. And I, for one, can't wait for it. Um, I really like 212 VIP Black. Uh, this is a addition to the Black line, but it's just 212 VIP Black. I love New York. Of course, like all new releases now, sustainability is huge. So it's going to be an all vegan release with, you know, sustainable components in the actual making of it. You know, we care about that, but we, we mostly care about what's going to be in it, what it's going to look and smell like. Of course, it's going to look great. It's the 212 VIP line. So not much has changed. It's pretty much a long rectangular kind of flacon or bottle. Of course, the smaller you go, then you go into the pill form which uh, looks like a representation of a, a tiny pill, which is cool because you can carry it with you. It's a lot smaller, it's more mobile, uh, but the 100 ml bottle looks great. Again, the fragrance is categorized as a woody aromatic gourmand fragrance. It features top notes of grapefruit and cardamom. The heart is absinthe and lavender. And in the base, which is where it gets its gourmand classification, there's leather, vetiver, and coffee. So why would they have absinthe in there? Well, absinthe is actually in the original 212 VIP Black. Primarily, the 212 VIP Black is leather and absinthe. It's more of a, a leather-based, vibrant, signature scent, sexy kind of fragrance for men. I think it's one of the best of the 212 line. So I'm really happy to see that they're carrying that same absinthe note. Absinthe is great in a fragrance. There's an upcoming video where I talk only about the note of absinthe. So look for that to come out relatively soon. But 212 VIP I Love New York is gonna be a great, I think uh, is gonna be a really solid gourmand fragrance. At least I hope that it is. So set your sights on that one to be coming up soon. Speaking of Carolina Herrera, there's a new addition to the Gems collection of Herrera Confidential, and it is called Stallion Leather. It's uh, actually based on Carolina Herrera's racehorse, which is Balaklav, Balaklava, Baklava. Her racehorse is a dessert named after a dessert. I don't know. Kind of reminds me or is reminiscent of the commercial behind Tom Ford's ombre leather. You know, you've got this horse, you've got this saddle, you've got this really dark, well-worn leather you know, and you've got this dry, arid kind of environs or environment. That's gonna be a really, I think, a really good release. Of course, the entire Gems collection is really well done. As mentioned, it's an ode to her racehorse. Balaclava's beauty, strength, and winning spirit are the key concepts of stallion leather. Of course, it's a unisex fragrance. The top notes evoke an energetic mood inspired by the power and speed on display at the beginning of a horse race. Classified as a woody, amber fragrance, spicy brightness of ginger contrasts with a smoky leather accord, evoking the craftsmanship of the house's artisanal workshops in Spain. Wild notes of jasmine pay tribute to Miss Herrera's favorite flower. So looking forward to stallion leather. For those of you that really like leather-based fragrances, uh, like myself, look forward to that one coming out uh, pretty soon. Kind of like their, the Jim's collection is kind of like their attempt for a designer of that caliber to be more niche-like. And uh, I think they succeed really well, or at least have succeeded in the past. And I'm sure stallion leather will be another success. Well, guys, that's pretty much a wrap on announcing new releases. That's all I had on the docket. I do want to take just a quick moment of your time to announce the winner uh, of the... So if you enter the contest to win Azaro Solarissimo Favignana, we're going to find out right now who the actual winner is. I, of course, used YouTube Random Comment Picker, and it chose the winter. I'm going to show you... Winter? <laughs> it chose the winter winner, and I'm going to show you who that is right now. So the winner of the full bottle of Azaro Solarissimo Favignana is Jerry Spiegelberg. So the good news is, Jerry, you said that Gourmand is kind of the, the weakest category in your small collection. Well, not anymore, because you just won Azaro Solarissimo Favignana, which in my humble opinion it is a great rummy citrusy rummy kind of fragrance from azaro which is a quality designer so all you got to do jerry is to shoot me your details at studiosense at gmail.com and i will get it shipped to you asap if somebody reaches out to you saying their studio sense 
or they're me, Tommy from Studio Sins or whatever, and they have my logo, don't listen to them. I don't ever reach out to my viewers through email in that way. I'll only, and that's why I've turned to announcing things on video is to avoid all the scam crap because there's a ton of it out there and we don't want to get mired down in that. So avoid any of that. Don't listen to it. Listen to me here and see me here saying the name of the winner. So if I reach out to you, it's not me. Just ignore it, delete it, and make sure to notify your email provider or put in the formula so that emails from that source or directly go to your your junk mail or, or your spam folder. Congratulations again, Jerry Spiegelberg, for winning a full bottle of Zaro Solarissimo Favignana. Great fragrance, I hope you really enjoy it. And for those of you that entered to win, don't give up. You are going to get lots of opportunities in the very near future to win more full bottles. I've got one coming up of a fragrance that's been heavily advertised. I think it's called Gravite. It's supposed to last 12 hours. We're gonna see, we're gonna find out. I'll do a quick review of that and a full bottle giveaway. And I've also got a, a bunch of other stuff coming up. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon so that you'll get notified of, of new content. You know the drill. Thanks so much though for stopping by and checking out today's video, spending a few moments of your precious time with me. As always, thank you so much for your support of my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah,